Okay, so we will proceed. So I'll first clear the screen. And then I will continue. So with SNPFF, it also has some databases that it uses for the variant effect prediction. And so what we are going to do is to check to see if the organism we are dealing with, okay, there's information available in SNP EFF. Okay, so we'll do that and then we can proceed. So let's take a look at the file again. Let's do an LS. I just want to take a look at the initial files we downloaded. So I made mention that there's a microbacterium or trans isolate. Okay, so these are variants from that isolate. So with M trans, the reference sequence is the ADY99 stream, right? So what we need to do is to check the SNP EFF database to see if there's information for ADY99, right? And then we can just enter some additional commands to perform the variant effect prediction. So first of all, we need to list the databases that SNP EFF have. I repeat. First of all, we need to list the databases that SNP EFF has, and then we can proceed with the rest of the activity. So let's ls again. Remember, we extracted the contents of the zip file, the SNP EFF zip file. So the contents are here. So ls into it, and you see your JAR file. So we are going to run the JAR file. So to list the databases in SNP EFF, we say Java dash JAR. And then you specify your jar file. So that's snip EFF slash snip EFF dot jar. And then you say databases. So let's execute this command. So once we do that, we have the databases being listed for us. So we have lots of them here. Okay, so we have listed them, but what we are interested in is our Reference sequence that's AGY99. Let me just display it again. What we are interested in is our AGY99 string. So we can record the same command, and this time we will add a pipe and we say grep to bring our quotes, and we can say AGY99 like this. So let's execute this command. So once we do that, we have the databases listed, but this time we will look for information that contains AGY99. All right, so now we see this, okay. It tells us that there's nothing there. All right, so here we can modify this name here because sometimes to be process grep, we can have situations where the pattern we give is not there, but it may be there in a different format. And so what we are going to do is to reissue this command. This time we are going to ignore the cases. So anything AGY99 will be displayed. Doesn't matter whether it starts with a lowercase a or uppercase a. So I'll recall it and this time I'll say dash i and I'll execute the command again. Perfect. So once I do that, you will see some heads coming up. All right. So you can see what is being displayed now. So here we have AGY99. So this means that the names in the databases do not start with an uppercase. All right, it starts with AGY99. So that is why this dash i here is handy because it helps us to also kind of streamline things. So now we see the information. So that means that SNP EFF has information for our reference sequence. Okay, the databases that SNP EFF has contains information for AGY99. And so what we are going to do is to download this database, the database for our string. I repeat, what we are going to do next is to download the database for our reference sequence. That's AGY99. All right, so I will do this. Now, there's the name. You can see the name here. So there's the name of the database. You have this. Okay, so this is what I used initially. So I'll use the same one here. The same name also here. Okay, so we have some information. So basically, this is the name of the database. Let me just put it this way. So I'll need to copy it because I'll use it later on. So I'll copy this name here. And then I'm going to do this. I'm now going to download the database. All right. Now let's clear the screen. 
let's ls let's ls into snip eff okay so we have our snip eff all right so what we are going to do is to download the database of interest in this case the database is this one here let's just do it we are going to download the database for ady 199 and i have specified the name okay i showed the name so we are going to do that here so to download the database in snip eff we say java dash jar and then you specify the snip eff jar and then you say download and then you say dash bin and then you supply it with the name of the database in this case this is the name that we are going to use all right so now let's execute this command so once we do that snip eff will download the database for us and then configure Right, so let's wait for everything to get done for us. Okay, so the database has been downloaded for us. So let's look at it. So let's play the screen. And then let's ls. So the database will also be found in the snip PFO directory. I repeat, the downloaded database will be found in the snip PFO directory. All right, so the directory which has the jar file, that's where we are going to find it. So if I say ls snip PFF, I'm going to find a directory called data. All right, so if I ls into that data, let's do it. ls snip eff slash data. I'm going to find that database, which is this one here. So you can also ls into it. So I can say ls snip eff slash data. Now I'll specify it's here. All right, so I'm going to find some stuff here. Okay, so there's it. Okay. Okay, so now we have our final VCF file, which is here. We also have our database, which is here. We also have our SNP PFF jar, which is here. I mean, the jar file. So now we are ready to perform the variant effect prediction.